William Stanley Milligan was born on February 14, 1955. He was the son of American comedian Johnny Morrison. The father committed suicide when the boy was four years old. His mother Dorothy tried to arrange a personal life until she married Chummer Milligan in 1963. The new spouse turned out to be a cruel man, prone to violence and sadism. Researchers believe that the personality of William Milligan, better known under the abbreviated name Billy, split at the age of eight when his stepfather abused him. The rape took place in a barn near the house where the family lived. A severe childhood trauma led to a mental illness. The boy had multiple inner worlds from a victim. Milligan himself gradually turned into a criminal. The man was first arrested in 1975 for armed robbery. Billy ended up in prison because of the personalities who later entered the list of banned persons. The teenager himself lost control of his body at the age of 16. When he first tried to commit suicide, the intellectual author and enforcer Reagan, who lived in it, suppressed the owner of the body and put him into a state of sleep. After Billy fell asleep, the number of his personalities increased. Two of them brought Milligan to prison for the first time. Brooklyn boy Phil was involved in the robberies of gay couples and his friend Kevin committed an armed attack on a pharmacy. One of the personalities described Milligan's inner world as a dark room, in the center of which was a beam of light. To capture the consciousness, the person had to stand on the spot in prison. The dominant personality was the Yugoslav communist Rigan Vadaskovinik, and after prison. The Englishman Arthur Smith, these two persons decided who and when can be allowed to the spot. When the individuals were not conscious, they slept, observed, or interacted with each other. The term family was used to define this group. Arthur and Reagan deprived the hypostasis of the opportunity to get up on the spot. This was the case, for example, with Adelana, because of which Billy's body ended up in prison a second time. The quiet female hypostasis under the influence of drugs became an aggressive lesbian who raped several students in 1977. Milligan's first sentence ended on parole. But a few months later, he was again under arrest. He was accused of raping and robbing three female students. The two victims identified the man from a photo, after which the suspect was taken into custody. Milligan was ordered to undergo a psychiatric evaluation due to a suicide attempt. After the examination, it became clear that the recidivist was not all right with his psyche. The court found Milligan insane, after which the criminal was sent for treatment to a state clinic. This was the first time in the United States that a person diagnosed with multiple personality was X. Emptied from criminal liability. In addition to the listed persons, there was a place in Billy's head for one more person. The teacher personality first emerged when Milligan was undergoing treatment. This character had the memories of all the people living in Billy's head. It was the teacher who helped Daniel Keyes with the material for a book about Milligan's life. Psychiatrists believe that the reason for the stratification of the American's personality was the bully. Ing of his stepfather. The rape may not have been isolated. There were other manifestations of aggression from Chummer Milligan against the stepson. Among William's personalities was 19-year-old April, who was obsessed with the idea of killing her stepfather. The girl in Milligan's head was devising a plan for revenge, but was supplanted by Arthur's dominant personality. Then April persuaded Ragan to kill her stepfather, as she could not do it herself. The intellectual Arthur hardly managed to convince Vodoska Vinich to let his stepfather live based on information obtained during Billy's treatment. Chama Milligan was charged with rape and child abuse. It should be noted that psychiatry in the 70s was not as well developed as it is now. Doctors decided that Milligan was suffering from acute schizophrenia. There were few cases associated with multiple personality disorder so additional examinations were required to make an accurate diagnosis. 
Psychiatry classifies Milligan as a classic example of pathology. His story and photos are included in the textbooks on therapy and diagnosis of mental illness. The man spent about 10 years in a psychiatric clinic. He was released in 1988. It is believed that the reason for the discharge was healing, but there is evidence that the patient never became a whole person. According to the lawyer, in the former prisoner's house, some walls were covered with mathematical formulas, while others were painted in an artistic manner for some time. The man lived in California and was engaged in the film business. His business went bankrupt and Billy disappeared from public view. He stopped communicating with his acquaintances and did not even withdraw the money that was returned to his account after paying off. Debts Different people who lived in the body of Billy Milligan had their own personal lives, known episodes of falling in love 16-year-old Tommy and 18-year-old Alan. For all of Milligan's male personalities, intimate relationships with women were forbidden, as they could betray his illness. Celibacy did not adhere only to the female incarnation of Billy Adelana. She was openly lesbian and had intimate relationships with lovers of other Milligan personalities, Daniel Keyes mentioned in the book that at the time of contact with the victims. The mentally ill American was under the influence of drugs, Milligan died in 2014. The announcement of his death appeared in the press on the 16th of December. Billy's cause of death is cancer. He spent the last years of his life in a nursing home in Ohio, where he died before reaching his 60th birthday. The story of an American citizen diagnosed with multiple personality has attracted the attention of publicists and filmmakers. In 1997, Todd Graff, with the participation of Danny DeVito, wrote the screenplay for the feature film A Crowded Room, based on the events of the life of an American. The role of the mentally ill protagonist was claimed by popular actors who even met with Milligan for consultations. The film was eventually produced by Leonardo DiCaprio's Appian Way. The main role went to the Oscar-winning actor. DiCaprio admitted that he dreamed of playing Milligan for 20 years, but the production of the picture was suspended, in 2016, the film split appeared in the world film distribution, which tells the story of a person with multiple personality splits. The main role in the film was played by James McAvoy. Some details of the plot of the film echo the facts from Billy's biography, the release of the anthology series The Crowded Room. Based on the facts of Milligan's life, became known in 2021. He replaced the premiere of a feature film, the main character was presented on the screen by actor Tom Holland, who also acted as the producer of the project. The Monsters Inside, The 24 Faces of Billy Milligan, a documentary about the life of a criminal, was announced on the Netflix streaming service in August 2021. Details of Billy's life have become the basis for documentary novels by Daniel Keyes. The book The Minds of Billy Milligan, which was published in Russia under the titles The Multiple Minds of Billy Milligan and The Mysterious Case of Billy Milligan, also inspired Korean screenwriter Jin Soo Won, the author of the Kill Me, Heal Me series storyline. Key's second work, Milligan's Wars, was completed in 1986, but first saw the light of day eight years after publication in Japan, in the United States. Publication of the book was hampered by criticism of the state's healthcare system. In the summer of 2016, the premiere of the play Billy Milligan based on documentary materials about the life of an American with many personalities took place on the stage of such a theatre in St. Petersburg. Another production, which took place in January 2020, was based on Daniel Key's The Secret History of Billy Milligan. The work of Stanislav Stanis was called Split Mind, Russian rapper Nikita Legistev works under the pseudonym Billy Milligan. Initially, he began releasing songs under the stage name Saint 1M, but in 2013, he presented the public with the first diss on himself, recorded from Billy Milligan, in this bright stage image. 
three studio albums, and many eps in the rap genre were released. Nikita tried himself in the role of an actor, he played himself, and the hero Billy Milligan in the comedy series Policeman from Robliovka. Not everyone shares the opinion of the participants in the events. Believing that Billy Milligan did not exist in reality, more precisely, those same 24 personalities are only an invention of a brilliant criminal lawyer who decided in this way to help the ward avoid serious punishment. The writer Daniel Keyes, who also turned out to be a talented marketer, also made his contribution, quickly realizing that a properly presented sensation would bring millions, and he did not lose. To prove the theory of the absence of the Billy Milligan phenomenon, the impossibility of documenting the facts is given. History has preserved only articles by journalists and statements by a lawyer, a personal doctor of a criminal and the testimony of the writer himself.